Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a proportion using cross-multiplication. Now, when solving proportions using cross-multiplication, we cross-multiply, set the cross products equal to each other, and solve. Let's jump into number 1, where we have 3 to 12 equals 5 to x. So x is our unknown. We need to find out what x equals. Let's start by cross multiplying. This just means to multiply diagonally. This is going to give us an equation that we can solve for x. First, we'll do 3 times x. That gives us 3x. We can bring our equal sign straight down. And then we have 12 times 5. Now I'm going to use a dot to represent multiplication. That way there isn't any confusion between x's that are variables and then x's that are multiplication signs. Now we can do 12 times 5. So let's bring our 3x down equals, well, 12 times 5, that equals 60. So we have 3x equals 60. Now we have a one-step equation that we can solve to figure out what x equals. So we need to isolate that variable of x. We do that by dividing both sides by 3. So 3x divided by 3 and 60 divided by 3. 3x divided by 3 gives us x and then 60 divided by 3 gives us 20. x equals 20. Now one more thing I do want to mention about using cross multiplication to solve proportions. Don't get too held up on what numbers to multiply first or which diagonal you should put on which side of the equal sign. It will all work out the same either way. Just make sure to multiply diagonally and have the equal sign in between your cross products. Let's move on to number two, where we have 33 to x equals six to two. We'll start by cross multiplying, so multiplying diagonally. First, we'll do 33 times two. So we have 33 times two. Bring our equal sign down, and then we have x times six which we can write as 6x. Next, we can do 33 times 2. That gives us 66. Bring our equal sign and 6x down. Now we have a one-step equation that we can solve in order to figure out what x equals. We need to isolate that variable of x, and we can do that by dividing both sides by 6. 6x divided by 6 will isolate that x, and then we also need to do 66 divided by 6. 6x divided by 6, again, isolates that variable, so x equals, and then 66 divided by 6 gives us 11. So x equals 11, and we can rewrite that as x equals 11. So there you have it. There's how you solve a proportion using cross multiplication. Cross multiply, set the cross products equal to each other, and solve. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.